Hello and welcome to today's video of Soulful Parenting for Early Childhood 0 to 7 years. Now, some other queries or some uh, oftenly asked questions or issues or concerns or challenges, whatever you wish to call us, are how can I make my 3 year old write? How can I convince my 4 year old to write? How can I get my 5 year old to write? What can I do so that my children write? Right? So that's a question again that's a very commonly faced question that's a very commonly faced scenario as well now how do we approach uh, i don't say teaching but when you wish to introduce a new concept to your child how do you approach it is the question and uh, children already do this children by their nat natural ability to question things will question everything why should i write why should i learn this why should i learn spellings why should i do this why should I do what you ask me to do, right? That's a natural ability to question things. Somehow, somehow, in certain cases, again, people have been dumbed down to not question and to just follow so that you can be an obedient child in the school, right? What does obedience do and all of that thing? I'll keep it to another video. Now, let me get back to the focus of this, uh, the topic for this video. So the topic is, how do you make children right? So go back to the need of writing. Why do we write? Why does one write? Why do we have to learn writing, right? That's a big question for the child. So why don't we just have a conversation with the child and just, you can just say that, you can just think of various ways to first, how do we express our thoughts? So writing is just a form of expression. You can express your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions using words that you put down on paper using, uh, through writing, through the act of writing so that is what is writing so you need words to the and then you have to you need words to that hold the, um, the your intention of your thoughts feelings and emotions and when you have to send across these thoughts and words and or thoughts and feelings and emotions uh, woven by these words to another person you either write or type or send a voice message or make a video right all these are forms of expression or you could be using drawing again drawing also is a form of expression you can express your thoughts through whatever you want to draw or a theater role play pretend play there are various uh, forms of expression writing being one of them so as parents again we all want our children to keep writing 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 finish their homework only one page of homework was given um, today but still my child doesn't write that one page how can she how can she just manage to uh, i mean grow up and finish her homework or finish her studies or how does she fare in her academics right your mind keeps thinking of all these other uncertainties that could happen right now we all want our children to write but do you write do you make a grocery list for yourself all that children do you doing is typing we want our children to write but we are all typing on the phone or the laptop right again typing also is a form of expression you could also invite your child to type out an email to his cousin or write a letter to his grandparent to his parent to her to his friend right writing typing are all forms of expression when you are all that you are doing is typing but you want your child to do writing somehow it doesn't gel first thing is the need is not the need for writing or to learn to learn to write is not being understood by the child the second thing is uh, typing and writing also uh, are, are again they serve a similar needs just that the the pattern is different the media that we use is different the form that we uh, use is different so all that comes under like again it goes deep into why do we type why do we write and all of that stuff you can you can have a con you need to have such conversation with a child and now, after you have, okay, I've explained to him the need to write, but still he doesn't write, right? If that's the question, that's the, ne that's an, uh, that's the next question. Then, are you writing first? Do you write? Do you express your thoughts using writing? Or maybe you can offer, you can invite your child to recite a story and you are writing his story, right? That is where the need, the, con the, the, the connection has been established. He is using words to uh, to express his thoughts and feelings and emotions and then you are right you you have chosen writing as a medium to uh, record his words right so that's a connection that he makes to 
the question why do we have to write why should i learn to write and all of that stuff so you can you can offer your child to recite a story a poem a song or a letter to anybody and you have to start writing first you do that first and then the child will understand the beauty of doing it again it's not that uh, okay i'll do 10 days of it and 11th day i want my child to write two full pages of whatever is being asked in school it doesn't happen that way if you are doing whatever you are doing just to test your child it will not work if you are doing with a certain trust that you want to that you have created for your child only then can you sense it it's it's intuitive and your child can actually sense your emotions and everything is sorted out by the universe actually and by the child so yeah coming back to the need of writing you can yeah you can choose to write you can choose to type an email to make a greeting card that also includes drawing and then writing also so the point is this we write to express our thoughts that has to be established first uh, so maybe the internet is broken and uh, the internet is not working for some days and then if you have established this foundation that we need to communicate to them through either a letter or an email that is when the child will actually make a connection that time at that point of time when the internet is not working the child will say okay let's write an email to the uh, to the department whoever it is or the officer or the man who maintains this internet right for the child to come up with this thought that let's write a letter to him that our internet is not working let's write an email to him or um, yeah making a phone call is another thing but all these are various medium media that we use to send across our uh, our word right so for the child to come up with this action step that yes let's write an email okay there is a need for something for maybe i i would uh, something is broken and just uh, maybe some damage some repair and okay let's write a letter to them let's see how they would respond for the child to think at this level how much of foundation you should be establishing just think for yourself you have to first establish the need need to write right now in this regards i'll also uh, spend the next couple of minutes to again introduce to you how math is taught to children so all of us again as parents we want our child to do fantastic math brilliant math wonderful math by 5 years there are abacus classes smart math sure the you yeah, i mean this kind of speed calculation fast math and uh, whatever it is right uh, there are many classes if you would like to if you'd like to enroll you have many options but again the foundation is set Bef- even before you are enrolling the child to a class right so now what do we do again we want our child to do speed math to do all kinds of additions and subtractions but again all that the child sees the parent doing or using the math skill is when the parent is using a calculator to calculate the monthly bill of the milkman for the milkman right or for the house help or for the grocery store right we use a calculator ourselves and we expect our child to do a uh, manual calculation again there is a conflict there what is the need for me to learn addition what is the need for me to learn subtraction what is the need for me to learn multiplication again there are various instances that you can bring uh, bring forward to your child to establish the need what you have to focus is not on the child picking up that skill doing what you want the child to do but focus on what is a ch- what is a ch- again yeah what is the need for that skill is one thing and what is a child's need at that moment right so um you could again you could start making you could start using a pen and paper for your daily calculations maybe your child is looking at you what you are doing and then maybe your child will have plenty of questions to ask you and then maybe your child herself for herself is uh, deducing uh, or concluding uh, making conclusions of how we can add numbers how we subtract numbers and what kind of techniques you use to uh, add double digit or triple digit numbers you need not teach all the techniques right at the first go right first what we establish is this foundation the foundation the, only when the foundation is strong can the structure be strong right so that's the thing when you don't focus on why is why there is a need what what how do we use it in real life yes how do we use it in real life is a right question to ask yourself as well as encourage the child to ask even if you don't encourage your child is actually asking you 
so just keep up to your child's level of questioning and keep supporting your child that is when we will get hundreds of ideas to again to introduce the same concept in different different ways which the child will will be able to relate to better and as well as grasp better right instead of focusing on how else i can provide this to my child if you are only focusing on just one method that is maybe taught in the book or somewhere else and uh, you just want the child to do it do it do it be it math or writing or anything handwriting there are various things but uh, you're not focusing on what else is the child looking for how else can i introduce this concept again it doesn't it doesn't sync it doesn't sync up there will be a conflict between the parents need and the child's need and it will mess up you know what what it will do right so yeah that's for today type down uh, what did you learn from this video in the comment section below thanks for watching bye bye